Joining me now is Mark Asta. He is the David Turnbull lecturer this year. Thank you so much for joining us, Mark. Thank you. So how does it feel to present to so many of your peers here at MRS? Well, first, let me say it's just a tremendous honor to receive the David Turnbull lectureship, particularly so because the research of David Turnbull has really had a large influence over my own research for actually the past 25 years. It's a great opportunity to give this lecture to my uh, MRS peers, and uh, I have to be frank, it's also a little intimidating. You'll be speaking this evening about concentrated alloys. What can folks in the audience expect? Yeah, so I'll be speaking about um, the topic of local order in concentrated alloys. These are materials which are disordered on a larger scale. They, they lack translational periodicity, but um, they are a very important class of materials that includes so-called multi-component high entropy materials. And they've um, become a class of materials that have continued to yield new surprises in terms of properties and, and combinations of properties that um, we don't see in other materials. The topic of uh, local order in these materials is one that um, has been shown in some research to have a very profound effect on the properties. And there's still a lot of open questions about exactly how it forms and what its nature is. So I'll be speaking about that. And um, what I hope to convey to the audience is that this structure is really fascinating because it's often referred to as hidden order. It occurs on the nanometer scale, and it really um, is something that you can't detect easily through normal diffraction measurements. There's an interesting analogy with research that David Turnbull did, where he showed that, um, that uh, liquid, uh, liquid materials, which we usually think of as sort of featureless, disordered, have uh, embedded in them local structural order. Mm -hmm. So I'll be trying to make similar connections in my research for concentrated alloys. And you just touched on it a little bit, but what's on the horizon when you look forward at your own particular research? Yeah, so I mentioned that high entropy materials are something that has been investigated for over two decades, mm -hmm. yet they still uh, continue to uh, present surprises, um, unexplained phenomena. And so there's a lot more work to do. My own research will really be motivated by applications of these materials for so-called extreme environment applications. And um, these alloys have been shown to present some really unique features that make them particularly interesting for these kinds of applications. And I have to say that progress in this field um, relies very strongly on uh, strong collaborations between experimentalists and modelers. And so enabling those kinds of uh, of those kinds of collaborations through new computational tools and way of analyzing experimental data will continue to be a push as well. All right, well, Mark Asta, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you.